Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your July 2021 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Hang on one second, guys. I'm looking at something. Uh, okay. All right. And we're back. <laughs> okay. So the cards you have, Gemini, are the Magician, the Hierophant, and the Six of Swords. Okay. So... I don't know, for some of you, it looks like what's going on here is uh, you had some idea. Of how to bring in some energy that is more suited to you, someone more like minded. This could be a person, place or thing. You want to have something that brings you peace or gives you a level of comfort, serenity, of course, peace. Um, some of you felt like you were fighting a losing battle. And so you decided to move away. But this moving away wasn't just, okay, I'm moving away. It was more like you almost had to move away in shame because it was like, I'm not going to win here. You know when I thought I would? I'm not. This is how somebody felt about you or someone feels the, or you feel about someone else. Someone's trying to manifest a, more of a commitment out of someone else. There could be also someone saying, in order for this to work, we're going to have to go to counseling, marriage counseling, get some type of counseling to move forward, to get over this, to get past it. Because somebody feels like this relationship is, um, it's just unrealized reward, unrealized potential. Somebody's still waiting for the reward for things to be realized here somebody's frustrated frustrated with the progress or the process here but they're willing to see it through there's also like a period where it was like from seven to nine months of where nothing was really happening nothing major nothing was turning over nothing was transpiring maybe nobody was talking Or somebody was still out here doing whatever it is they wanted to do with the Prince of Wands showing up on the Knight of Wands. There was somebody who was in and out, hot and cold, off and on. They didn't stay for long. They were stay for a little while. You knew that when things started to get real, they would leave. Um, they didn't let grass grow under their feet. They're adventurous. They're outgoing. They're well-dressed. They're charismatic. They're confident, overly confident. This person is restless, restless in nature. They still feel like they're on a conquest. They've got something to conquer or more people or more things to conquer. This could be you or somebody you were dealing with. It seems as if maybe your intuition started speaking to you with the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles, pentacles. When you see a seven and then you see a five, it talks about intuition there. Um, it starts speaking to you in terms of you knowing that maybe there's no growth potential here. This is it. This is this relationship is impoverished. This person or this situation, this job, or whatever it may be, will leave me destitute and alone. They, there's always already an, an energy of abandonment. Prince of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, abandonment and um, ignoring, not acknowledging. Somebody, I know a spirit helped you, Gemini, or maybe another person, or the other person, I don't know, helped you get 
real about what it is you want about this relationship, about this union, this partnership. Are you in or are you out? Are you reviving it? Are you revamping it? Or are you going to make some snap decision to either cut it out and go after what it is you want in your own life, your own goals? Be the executive here. Some of you, this could be with an actual job or corporation, career. You had to determine what arena you wanted to go in because we then see either you or somebody else moving in a new positive direction, getting control of the relationship, the business, the marriage, whatever it may be. Moving in a new positive direction, overcoming the obstacles, maybe that are this relationship or, or that was this relationship. Somebody's going to have a new opportunity. Now, for some of you, this could be business. This could be a new person showing up. A new opportunity. One that you won't have to chase. The Ace of Pentacles talks about no chase. Opportunity presented. You just have to grow it. It's like a seed. It almost looks like one also. It's like the universe giving you a seed. Here's your seed. Plant it. Grow it. Nurture it. And then you can eventually have the Ten of Pentacles. And it looks like some of you are on the route to doing that. Some of you, you, you got new opportunity elsewhere. Some of you have come into a, a realization, um, a place of self-actualization. You are really relying on depending on yourself. You're actually saying to yourself, I am capable. I am able. I, I can do this. Whatever it is, whether it's business or it is being alone, or it's learning about yourself too with the Two of Pentacles, because you're doing two things at the same time. You're trying to rebuild yourself, have that self-actualization, but you're also learning too. The Two of Pentacles talks about something simultaneous. So you pick up one thing, you put down, and pick up another. So it's like you're doing something at the same time. I don't know if it's two people. It's like you walked away from somebody and then you started the healing process. And you just started to learn, grow, maybe even get into tarot, some esoteric type of stuff, learning about yourself, learning about nature, food, diet, healthy way of living, increasing your immunity, your um, muscle mass, all of this stuff. Working out, just being better. And it looks like... You go on this self-reflection journey with a hot, with the hermit card, and it's for you because we have that pink flower there. So the pink talks about self-love, um, and then all the blue healing. So you go on this healing self-love journey, and then somebody shows back up. I really feel like it's someone that you are estranged from. You know this person. Um. This person could show back up for you in the month of July. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this might be somebody from the past. Or this is you, Gemini, doing this to someone else. Um, whatever this person did to you, they made you the Queen of Swords. So she, sometimes some people say she's jaded, she's cold. Of course, she's cutting out the old so she can have new. She's the executive. She's concerned about career, money, finance. Um, she looks like royalty. She dresses well. She speaks well. She's an intellectual. She, um, she's, you know, um, she's really got all of her ducks in a row because she, sees where she wants to be. She can envision it, so she's trying to get there. And um, she also is relying on spirit to guide her because uh, she's been through so much. Sometimes you come up the queen. Of, you come up as the queen of swords when you, you've been through so much and then the only thing you can rely on is spirituality and holistic living and religion and whatever it is, but you you rely on the, the intangible. Because um, the, the cards want you to make sure that you don't go into a place of 
Um, having no feelings for nothing and no one is a coping method. You got to heal your sacral chakra. So um, you may not want people to be close to you right now. You're not close to other people. Um, you don't want intimate connection because when you did have that, it, um, it disturbed you and you didn't get what you wanted. For some, okay, some of you got sick too. I don't know if you got an STD or... Okay, I'm getting out of here. Um, this person could want to come back in the month of July. They want you to take the leap of faith with them. They don't want you to be focused on what you already know about them. They want you to be focused on the fact that you guys just need to be back in sync, in harmony. Even though they have greatly disappointed you, hurt you, put you maybe in a third party situation. They want you back because um, they've been thinking about you over and over again and how invested you were in the relationship. And right now you're just looking desirable to them because you are not entertaining them. You're not giving them your energy. So they want to start the love affair back up. Um, yeah, no offers here. Just what they want, what they think it should be. They have nothing to offer you. So Gemini, this is your reading. Sorry, it couldn't be better, but it looks like you on a, a much better road. Some of you are going to be starting business or meeting someone new, or you're just in a place of really self-healing, and you're getting to a place of really having the life that you want, the um, actual things that you want for yourself in your life. Um, Jim and I go over, you get to a place of really understanding your potential and really unlocking it for some of you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Get in on the new moon manifestations happening this uh, Friday, July 9th. Um, I'm going to link it below. Also, it's on the community tab. Um, if you want to manifest new love, new streams of income, banish an ex or fear or a friend or um, different situations, get in on the new moon manifestations. Okay, thank you. Gemini, many blessings to you. Take care.